I'm Jesse Yost with Ruckus Education, and today we're going to talk about SNMP v3 configurations for ICX. You can see that I'm already logged into my ICX device here, and I'm going to run a show version. We can see that it is running version 8095G, and that this particular device is a 7150. The commands that we're going to walk through today uh, are specific commands for SNMP v3, so you should be able to apply these to any of the ICX platforms that support SNMP version 3. Do check your command line reference guides for your specific uh, product release just to verify that the command syntax that I'm giving you uh, matches what the platform expects. All right, now that we've outlined what hardware and software versions we're looking at, let's go ahead and jump into the configuration. So I'm going to go into config mode, and the first thing that I'm going to do is actually run and apply some SNMP commands that are global. So the first thing I'm going to do is enter in a contact, and I'm going to enter myself. I'm going to then do a location of somewhere in the city. So neither of those were specifically related to V3, but it gives us something to look at once we start drilling down into the larger um, view of these OIDs and stuff. So um, the first SNMP v3 related configuration that we're actually going to perform is the view. So we're going to start off with SNMP-server again. We're going to enter view and we're going to call this view ports only. Um, so this view is just th that's just the name of this view. We then need to specify uh, okay so we've named the view now what specifically in the MIB uh, do you want to actually give this access to? Well, I named it ports only, so I should probably restrict this to only some type of port information. And I can do that either with a name or with the actual OID number. I'm going to go ahead and choose to do that with the OID number. And all of this information that I'm typing in here is something that I've gotten from our MIB reference, reference guides. So I encourage you to take a look at the MIB reference guide if you're going to be dealing with SNMP um, and setting up these different OIDs and views. So this is 1.3.6.1.2.1.31. So that's specifying exactly what I want this view to look at. And then I have to explicitly include it. So I actually have to type include here, include. And there we go, we've got the view configured. The next piece that we need to do is actually the group. So I'm gonna go ahead and type SNMP server group, and then uh, I need to name the group. I'm gonna call this port admins, and then I need to specify that this is an SNMP v3 group. And the next thing I need to do is actually specify, since I've specified that it is a v3 group, what kind of authentication do I want? The options are auth, no auth, and priv. So uh, with no auth, you're not going to need any authentication or privacy uh, for this view. Uh, if you specify auth, which is what I'm going to actually specify, um, it's going to work with just authentication, but we're not going to have privacy needed to view this. If we chose privacy, uh, it would actually require authentication and privacy. So think of it kind of as like a level one, level two, level three. So no auth is level one, auth is level two, and privacy being that level three security um, level there. So we've specified auth, and the next thing that we need to do is define which actual views we're going to be using for this group. So for my read view, it's going to be uh, ports only. And for my write view, it's going to be ports only. So we can specify the same thing for read and write. That's what I'm doing in this particular example just to prove uh, that this works. So with the group created, the next thing that we need to do is actually define a user. So I'm going to go ahead and create myself as a user, and I need to specify what group I need to be in. So we just created the group port admins. That seems like a good option for me. Um, to jump into and I want to be I want this again to be SNMP v3 so I'm going to choose v3 and then I am going to choose auth again as my uh, security level uh, I do have to then choose MD5 as my encryption type and I have to enter in a, an encryption password in which case I'm going to enter a super secret password that nobody knows so there we've got the view the group and now the user configured the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to specify an SNMP server host and I'm going to target the machine that's running the SNMP software 
um, that I want to uh, take a look at my switch with. So again, it is at uh, 192.168.1.26 and its version is going to be V3. And I'm actually going to set up auth with this as well and do super secret. And I didn't, I, I thought that didn't look right. And it's super secret. So there we go. Super secret. So there we go. We have view, group, user, and host. Let's go ahead and take a look at our SNMP tool and see what kind of information we can get from it. Actually, before we get into uh, showing this MIB management tool, I want to jump back into the ICX and point out a few things. So you saw the uh, configuration that we just applied. If we actually take a look at the running configuration, I want to point something out. So when we created the view for the ports only, we specified that OID in a long number. Um, and you can see that after we've executed that command, the running config actually reverted back to the group name for that. So you can see that it is, na is named ifmib, and you can see that that is included. So that's what's defining what is displayed for ultimately that user, because the user is mapped to the group, the group's mapped to the view. Uh, another thing that I wanted to point out is we do have an SNMP engine ID by default in the uh, ICX device. Now, this can be changed, but you can run the show SNMP engine ID command and take a look at what the engine ID is configured as. That's going to come up when we go to target this device with this MIB manager. So within this MIB manager, um, the only thing that I've really done was I downloaded our MIB files from our uh, support.ruckuswireless.com site and I loaded them in here so that it can understand uh, what those MIBs map to and be able to display everything properly. Your NMS is probably going to need those MIB files as well, uh, but the overall configuration of your NMS is probably going to be much different than this. It, and I'm not trying to show you how to configure an NMS or anything. I just want to prove that you know the configurations that we applied for SNMV, SNMP v3 actually work. So at this point, uh, I am ready to go ahead and target my switch that we've run those configurations on to see if we can't pull some information in. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new session. I'm going to change that SNMP protocol. I'm going to click uh, and enforce it to V3, which then brings up another configuration dialog we can see over here. And in the top left, we see that it's asking for that engine ID. So we, we ran that show command to show what the engine ID is here, and that is what it is. Um, so it is plugged in here. Uh, it needs the engine ID of that remote agent to be able to identify that, hey, this is the specific device that we want. And uh, again, you can change that, but we've got that listed in here. Um, the next thing that we need to specify is our security level. So remember I said that there was uh, no auth, auth, and priv. So here we go. We've got those three options here. And you can see if we toggle between them, it kind of changes the context of this particular tool. So no auth uh, is grayed out auth protocol and privacy protocol, while auth ha has us uh, entering the auth protocol and then auth priv would have us doing both auth and privacy protocols. So again, I'm going to choose what I specified when I configured um, the ICX, which was just auth. And um, the security name is my username. So we created a user on that device and we named that Jesse. So we've got that entered in here. And then um, we've got the auth password. So we did set up a password uh, of super secret. Uh, when we specified the MD5 protocol. So we've got that listed here as well. Uh, with all that information, we are ready to go ahead and test just this connection to make sure that this tool can reach out to the switch and, and uh, obtain some SNMP3, SNMP v3 uh, configuration. And we see that it does respond. So we have an overall um, connection into this device, and we can see that it is responding with some Ethernet port information, which is exactly what we asked it to do. So I'm going to go ahead and choose OK there. I'm going to choose OK here. And then um, this particular tool is going to be ready to create a session into the switch using SNMP. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Create Session button. And it's going to say, uh, yep, yeah, we're going to launch the MIB browser. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to load it up here for us. So the, uh, the, MIB, the MIB browser is like a live look into the results of these SNMP queries. And remember, as, you, as I said, we targeted just some port information uh, under that if MIB. Uh, if we scroll down this tree on the left-hand side, 
we'll actually see if MIB listed here as that 31. If we click on that 31, we can see in the top right hand corner, we're actually getting values returned. Um, so we can even see, you know, the, uh, the if MIB was that 136, 12131. So that is what I entered in for that, that OID. We can see all the, uh, the sub variables for that, and we can see the values for that. So with, with that specific um, user, I'm now able to obtain some information about ports. Now, this isn't going to be all the information that this switch could provide because, again, we specified that view to be very specific. So we wanted to only look at that particular OID and anything that was under it. Um, so that's what we're exactly seeing here. Let's go ahead and go back into the switch and create another uh, view or group that's able to see everything and then come back and take another look. Back in our switch configuration, we're going to create another V3 group that has additional access to views. And then we're going to tie that particular group to yet another user. And then we're going to retarget uh, the device using that new user account to see our expanded view. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into configure mode and we are going to set in that SNMP server group. We're going to call this one super admin and it is going to be a v3 group and we are going to give it auth privileges and then we're going to specify read all write all so this is a group that does uh, exist in the v3 string and it, it enables some backward compatibility with v2 and v1 but this is going to specify that this group can view uh, and access everything in the uh, in the MIB index. So we're going to go ahead and apply that group configuration and then I'm going to create another um, user for it. So we're going to do SNMP server user. Uh, we're going to call this one Super Jesse. So this one is going to have um, access to our super admin view. So Super Jesse is the user. Super admin is the group that this user uh, is going to live with and it is going to be V3 as well. It is going to be auth MD5, and it's going to be super secret as well. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And then let's just take a look at the running configuration, and we can just verify that, yes, we've got two groups and two users. And let's go ahead now and try to log in to our MIB tool with that new Super Jesse account and see what kind of information we can provide. Back in our MIB tool, we can see the old session here. So we've highlighted our device at 192.168.1.21, and we can see some session details on the right-hand side that show the UDP port that we were using, the version of SNMP, as well as the engine ID, and even the username that that, um, that, that session logged in with. So we can see Jesse there. Now what we want to try to do is we want to try to log in with Super Jesse and see if we can get more information than just the port information. So we're going to go ahead and do a new session. We're going to change the protocol back to V3. And uh, we just need to change the security name. So uh, this, it's already listed in there as Super Jesse. Uh, and we still have the MD5 uh, encryption. And the password is super secret. So we're going to go ahead and click Test Connection here. And we can see on this agent check, we get some more information than we did last time or some different information. Previously, we just got some protocol information, but now you can see that we've gotten even some of that information that we set up when we initially did the configuration for SNMP. You can see Jesse there as the contact and then somewhere in the city as the location. So it's able to query that information uh, from this device, and that's definitely different than we saw with that port view. So we're going to choose OK there. We're going to go ahead and choose OK on the configuration dialog. And we are going to go ahead and create the session. And you can see it did open up that second session. And that top right hand view does have some additional details in it from the system tree. So we can see we've got some of that same information that we saw in that check. And uh, if we scroll down this tree, we can get some additional information. So if we were to click on the IP uh, branch of this tree, we would be able to pull in all kinds of different IP values. So we can see IP forwarding in there. We can see IP discards, uh, requests. Uh, so this is all information that would typically be pushed into uh, an NMS. So 
Um, but you can see that there are several different values here and they're all populating in. This is because we have full access to the MIBs on this particular device. So your NMS would be able to um, take all of these values and put them into some monitoring package for you to be able to get live system updates. And it's because you are using the SNMP protocol and we're doing it with the uh, increased security of SNMP version 3. So again, this wasn't supposed to be uh, showing you how to set your NMS up, but rather it was uh, meant to show the configuration on the ICX side so that your NMS would be able to um, utilize SNMP version 3 to get some additional details from the device.